Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to design a steel connection in robot structural analysis. So uh, you have to use the uh, Euro code to design the connection in the robot structural analysis because uh, at uh, the, at this time the ro uh, the robot software is not supporting other uh, standard or code for uh, connection design so I already create a load combination and uh, so I'm going to start the load combination uh, the load sorry the connection design by go to steel design and connection so next I have to select the node and to the bar here and you can click on new connect uh, new connection for selected bars so as you can see uh, the design code is jury code and this is the year uh, after code so uh, in this window you can adjust the connection following uh, your uh, design your concept uh, for now, I'm going to skip this first. So I'm going to click apply. OK. So next, I want to show you the connection view here. And this is the, uh, the connection that we are going to design. And this is the result. We have to run the connection design first in order to show the result here. And this is uh, like um, a plan. So. Now I'm going to adjust this. You can right click on the connection and click properties. So this window will pop up again. Now uh, the next thing is uh, you can adjust the plate. So I'm going to choose this uh, material. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, uh, show this view and adjusting this window let's say uh, 500 so this plate will uh, become longer than before now uh, I will keep this and the plate here let's say 16 And you can uh, uh, look at the picture here. This is EPU. So I'm, I'm going to use 100, and this is 100. So we got uh, our uh, uh, plate like this. This is the moment connection. So I'm going to. Uh, uh, use the bracket for the top and uh, bottom flame so next uh, we are at the bracket here let's use this one and this is some material I'm going to add side here should be 10 I think I'm going to use this um. 
okay so if you have if you use the bracket you don't have to put the number here so this is uh, the bracket now uh, you can adjust the ball so this is the class of the ball now we use this side so now uh, the ball is bigger but I need to uh, adjust the number E here let's say uh, 90 and I'm going to add three more rows so it's going to seven so it's not good and we adjust the uh, uh, spacing by, by changing this number so the first one zero of 100 and 90 90 Okay, I think we can use this now. Next is stiffener. I will change this to 6. This is the wheel side. I'm going to use the default number here. And this is the code parameter you can uh, chain. Uh, following the code the the euro code because we use the uh, euro code for design here so now uh, our model is uh, done i'm going to apply and okay next we can check the forces in bar so everything is zero but uh, you don't have to worry about this because once you run the connection design it will ask you load cases here and I'm going to uh, click on the combinations and we have only one uh, uh, load combination so this is the number three load combination now I'm going to click calculation so this is the result of the calculation so you can uh, check the uh, calculation node here and now as you notice the forces in bar uh, are changed so everything uh, is uh, import here and it's, it's the load here is got from the structure analysis so you don't have to worry about this you can also check the uh, the, the load here in the result of the structure analysis in, in the model uh, of our structure here so uh, this is the reason you can check here this is for shear and this is the column uh, resistances so everything is uh, in, uh, put it here and for this uh, this result is uh, the critical uh, ratio so it will show you 0 0.75 and this is the icon is uh, okay so this is how you design the, uh, uh, the connection in RoboStructure Analysis you can import the load into uh, the connection design automatically so it uh, it's easy for the um, the steel modeling, uh, the steel design, and uh, straight to the connection design. But uh, you can only use the Euro codes, so it's um, quite limited, but uh, it's fast and useful. So uh, that's it for this tutorial, and I see you guys in the next video. Thank you.